Hello, this is Anthony Fasano from the Engineering Career Coach, and I want to welcome you to episode number one of Engineering Career TV. If you know the Engineering Career Coach, you know that we focus on helping engineers succeed in their careers and lives through powerful content. To date, we have published mostly written articles and audio podcasts, which have been very popular. And by the way, we will not be slowing down the podcasts. However, we have had tons of requests for videos. So this show will be yet another medium that engineers can get engaged on and find information to help reach your career and life goals. I will spend most of the episodes answering questions that have been submitted from engineers around the world on how to rapidly advance their careers and lives, how to really live the life you want to live as an engineer. You can submit questions for the show at engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask. All right, today's topic is how to ask for a raise. The topic is based on a question from Kevin in Tennessee. Kevin is a recent graduate and asks the following. My question is about how to ask for a raise or bonus. I have been working for a small consulting firm for about a year and a half and decided to go ahead and sit for the PE exam in Kentucky. You can do that at this age there. Well, I passed. I feel like I deserve some kind of raise or bonus to reward my hours of studying and ability to actually pass the test even though I still need another two years of experience to obtain my license. How should I go about asking for a raise or bonus? How much should I ask for? And how much should I expect? Thank you. All right, Kevin, this is a tricky question because one could make a case that you really haven't earned your license yet since you have two years of experience still to go. That being said, I don't think it would be seen as crazy to ask for a raise here. This is what I would recommend. First of all, you need to be learning a lot at this point in your engineering career. So if you are learning a lot from this company, there's value there and you don't want to damage your relationship with the company this early on. So what I would recommend in this situation is more of an asking approach as opposed to a demanding approach. I might say something to my supervisor like, I just passed the PE exam. Now, while I still have to get another two years of experience before I actually get my license, I was wondering if the company ever rewarded employees for these types of career milestones, like passing the PE exam. See what kind of response he or she gives you, and then you can chart out your next steps. They may say yes, and then start the process. Or they may say no, and then you have to decide what's the absolute best next step is going to be for you, both short-term and long-term. And if they do say no, what I would recommend is that you put together an email request that has some data and some backup on why you think you should be rewarded. How does this action benefit the company long-term? I think you can make a case for it, but you just have to be very careful because this is early on with this company for you. And you just wanna learn. You wanna keep that learning experience going for you right now. You don't want to cause any friction. Now, in general, for those of you out there looking to ask for a raise for whatever reason, again, I would go back to the value that you're bringing to the table for your employer. If you've brought in a lot of business, then you better be asking for a raise because you're increasing the company's bottom line. If you've gotten a new certification or a credential, you can make a case for it, but you'll need to show the company how your action is going to benefit them monetarily so that they can justify giving you that raise. I do agree that most engineers don't ask for a raise when they deserve one, but there's also people who ask for raises too often when their actions may not have brought about any financial benefits for the company. So keep that in mind. If you're going to ask for a raise or a bonus or even a promotion, your company needs to understand how your actions have and will benefit their bottom line going forward. I hope you found the first episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you, and I want you to take advantage of it. 
You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I invite you to join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineer Your Own Success, and I'll see you next week.